Your Excellency, Ershad Ahmed. Your Excellency, Ambassador Lu Zhaohui of China. Excellency, Ambassador Kubis. Distinguished guests, gentlemen, ladies. A very good morning to all of you here. I'm sorry we couldn't produce some sunshine. This fog is generally um, how it's like in Delhi in end December, January. It'll lift in a few days. We are very happy to host the senior officials meeting of the Istanbul process, the heart of Asia process in New Delhi. The Istanbul heart of Asia process is an important component of the ongoing international efforts to assist Afghanistan in its political and economic reconstruction efforts. What makes this platform unique is that it brings together countries in Afghanistan's immediate and extended neighborhood into a framework that enables us all to consult each other on political questions pertaining to Afghanistan while at the same time participating in cooperation activities that are focused on Afghanistan but which will bring benefits to the whole region. In past meetings, perhaps, we have not been using this platform enough for political discussions. I am, therefore, hoping that in this senior officials meeting, we will correct this and have more detailed discussions on political and security questions which are of concern to Afghanistan and to all of us. No one can deny that Afghanistan is today at a critical juncture in its history. Perhaps more than ever before over the last 12 years, Afghanistan requires the constructive support of all its neighbors. The preparations for the Afghan presidential elections in April are already underway. President Karzai has made great efforts to ensure that the required legislation for an independent election commission and an independent election complaints commission have been put in place in time for these elections. We are aware of the work being done by Chairman Nuristani to update the voters list and the extensive planning exercise undertaken by the leadership of the Afghan National Security Forces to ensure security for the elections. We think that all the building blocks for an election that will unite the whole of Afghanistan are already in place. The main threat to this election process is the continued efforts by extremist groups to undermine security and deny the Afghan citizen the right to freely exercise his or her franchise. There is never any justification for terrorism, and India strongly believes that it is only through the closest of international cooperation that this evil scourge of terror will be defeated. The reconciliation process is a vital ingredient for a smooth political transition. We commend the continued efforts being made by the Afghan authorities and the High Peace Council to begin an Afghan-owned, Afghan-led process that will help reconcile and mainstream members of armed opposition groups who have shown their willingness to give up terror, abide by the Afghan constitution, and participate as equal citizens in Afghan's national life. We must all support this Afghan-led process. While doing so, we must remember 
that any initiative to assist Afghanistan undertaken with inadequate preparation and poorly executed is far more dangerous than no initiative at all. The Istanbul Heart of Asia process is also about fostering economic cooperation amongst countries of the region centered around Afghanistan. It is also about finding creative ways to tap into the generous financial and technical support that countries from outside the region are willing to provide. Let us use this senior officials meeting to introspect on the manner in which the various confidence building measures, cooperation activities have been progressing and whether we have been successful in linking with the supporting countries who are willing to help out. Unfortunately, on first view, most of our CBM activities appear to be at their preliminary or planning stages. So far, we have little to show for in terms of concrete cooperation activities that are delivering benefits to Afghanistan. It is important that we shift gears from the planning stage to the implementation stage. Further meetings of the senior officials meeting should be tackling implementation problems rather than briefing each other about cooperation plans for the future. We welcome the suggestion made by Afghanistan for a funding mechanism that will support the coordination activities being undertaken by the Afghan Foreign Ministry for the Istanbul process. Let us look at this suggestion seriously so that we can finalize a concrete proposal in time for the ministerial meeting that will take place later this year in China. Let us also use this meeting to develop and identify other initiatives that can be submitted for the consideration of ministers at their meeting in China. As the lead country of the Trade, Commerce and Investment Opportunities, CBM, under the Istanbul process, I am happy to report that India recently organized a Doing Business with Afghanistan conference and trade exhibition in New Delhi to interest businessmen to invest and do business in Afghanistan. We benefited greatly from the briefings provided to us by several senior Afghan ministers and Afghan officials on opportunities, the regulatory environment, and incentives being provided by the Afghan government to attract international business. A consistent and clear message we got from the business community is that while they all see the potential of Afghanistan as a major economic hub for energy, raw materials and trade, connectivity to major markets of the region remains a major impediment. The time has come to seriously discuss the issue of transit arrangements for Afghanistan that can be provided by Afghanistan's neighbours and that will help it link up to the major maritime ports and markets of the region. India, Iran, and Afghanistan are already discussing the possibilities of cooperation centered on the future development of the Chabahar port in Iran, and we hope to see other such products, projects fructify in the near future. For many years, Afghanistan has been associated with a negative narrative of insecurity, war, conflict, and the great suffering of its peoples. The Istanbul Heart of Asia process should counter this narrative. It is important that we highlight the remarkable gains achieved in Afghanistan since 2002, whether in terms of democracy, the rights of women and children, economic progress, education and health. As my minister said yesterday, the Afghanistan of today is not the Afghanistan of the early 1990s. We should not ignore the remarkable progress that the Afghans have made over the past 12 years, whether it is the fact that in a population of 30 million, 
there are already 18 million mobile subscribers spread over the length and breadth of the country, connecting it like never before, or the fact that girls and young women from the remotest parts of Afghanistan are now able to attend school and university. A national currency is today accepted in all parts of Afghanistan. There is a national media which continuously holds all Afghan political leaders, irrespective of their political groupings or factions, accountable for their actions. These are significant gains which should never be obscured by either negativity or pessimism about Afghanistan's future. India is committed to working together with all like-minded countries to ensure that this narrative of hope and progress is acknowledged and given all the importance that it deserves. Thank you.